How's it going everybody? In my last video, a couple people left some comments wondering how to get the character that they selected into the next scene. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So first off, we're going to create a new scene. Uh, I'm just going to name it Play Game. Double click it, it's empty. And then I'm going to go on the top left, File, Build Settings, Add Open Scene. So we have the, the character select scene and then our new scene we just created. And now I'm going to go into our selector script. This is the same script from my previous video, and we're just going to have to add to it a little bit. So up top, we are going to have to do using Unity Engine Management. This allows us to change scenes. And at the bottom, I'm going to create a new public function called change scene. And this is just to get to our next scene. So scene management dot load scene, and it's going to want an integer. And when we added the scene previously, it was one. So that's why I'm putting a one there. All right, now we're going to go back into our character selector scene, and we are going to go to the canvas and add a button. And this button is going to be so when we click it, it takes us to the next scene. Just going to change the name of that to play and bring it down a little bit. Then on the on click, I'm going to link it to our selector manager script and that change scene function we created. I'm just going to press play and test it out real quick. All right, and it works. So now I'm going to go back to our selector script and now we're going to put in the logic to actually save the character we selected. So how we're going to do that is through player prefs. So I'm going to create a private read-only string and name it selected character and selected character. All right. And we're going to go down to our switch statement where we actually select our characters. And we're going to do player prefs dot set int. And you can look, and it says it wants a key and a value. So the string we created up here, that is our key. And our value is we can just use the same number as our case. And this works going one way, but going the other direction, we're going to have to match it up a little bit. All right, so one is banana, two is guava, three is grape, four is lemon. So we just got to match that up to the other direction. So four is lemon, three is grape, yep, two is guava, and one is banana. All right, cool. So now I'm going to go back into, oh, Cool. So now I'm going to go back into Unity. I'm going to go into our new scene, create an empty game object, name it main character, and I'm going to add a sprite render to it. And I'm going to create a new script called git main character, git main char. Right now, I'm going to open up this script once it loads. All right, cool. Now, I am going to do a public sprite and do banana, lemon, guava, grape. And I'm going to do private sprite render. My sprite. And I'm going to have a void awake function. And here I'm going to just link my sprite equals this dot game object. Oops. This dot get component sprite render. Alright, and also in our awake function, no, we can do it in the start. 
All right, so we're going to have a local integer called get character. And then we're going to do get character equals clear press dot get int. And we're going to need a key so we can go to our selector script and just copy and paste this in here. Use the same one. And then create a switch for this get character. Break. Copy paste this. I'm going to need a default one. Break. Change the numbers. All right, and then one. One is banana, two is guava, three grape. So banana. All right, so it'd be my sprite dot sprite equals banana. And guava. Great. And lemon. And just in case something wonky happens, we're going to default it to lemon. And now we have to go back into Unity and link our sprites once this loads. All right, so we're going to link banana. Lemon, lava, great. And one last thing is double click main character and where it says Z negative 10, change that to zero. Otherwise, it's going to be behind the camera and you won't be able to see it. So change that to zero. You can even change the scale to zero because this is all 2D stuff. And if it's 3D, um, it's going to be a little bit different, but 2D, you can change it to zero, and let's see if this works. Save it, press play, and let's go try banana, and we got banana, and we're going to try it again. All right, this time going the other way, and we're going to stop on great, and we got great. All right, so this is how we can use the character selector screen and player prefs to actually bring that character that we selected into the next scene. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Have a good night.